Welcome everyone to today's video. What come to your mind if anyone says Pythagoras? Maybe this picture? This is the infamous Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras himself. Pythagoras was an ancient Greek philosopher, mathematician, and founder of the religious and philosophical movement known as Pythagoreanism. He was born on the island of Samos in the eastern Aegean Sea around 570 BCE and died around 495 BCE in Metapontum, southern Italy. Pythagoras is best known for the Pythagorean theorem, which states that in a right-angled triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse, the side opposite the right angle, is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. He also made significant contributions to mathematics, including the discovery of numerical ratios and the concept of irrational numbers. Although much of Pythagoras's life and work remains shrouded in legend and myth, his contributions to mathematics and philosophy have had a lasting impact on Western thought and continue to be studied and revered today. This is what we were told or let's say we believed. Till now. But. This is what today's research tell us about Pythagoras. Pythagoras is probably one of the most famous names in mathematics. Almost all high school students will know the beloved Pythagoras theorem. But did he really exist? Sadly, it is now almost universally assumed by classical scholars that Pythagoras never existed. It seems that there was a group of people in southern Italy called Pythagoreans who invented a founder for their beliefs who, accordingly, lived and died in a manner consistent with those beliefs. As quoted on the Book of Dead Philosophers by Simon Critchaley, there are, in fact, no primary sources about Pythagoras which have survived. The only piece of literature that we have of him is from a small set of texts that was written between 150 AD and 450 AD. That is, 600 to 1000 years after Pythagoras is said to have lived. So, their accuracy is questionable. The existence of a group called the Pythagoreans is undebatable. They were an Orphic-like cult, obsessed with numerology. There are indeed many stories of Pythagoras, however most include supernatural occurrences rather than significant accounts of his life. For example, one tale describes him as possessing a golden thigh, another declares he was the son of the god Apollo. This turns Pythagoras into a rather mystical figure in ancient history and, for some, these lies and contradictions hint that Pythagoras was simply an exaggerated or even fictional leader concocted by the members of a religious section. Furthermore, many historians suggest that Pythagoras was not even the first to develop his famous theorem, but that in fact the Egyptians discovered it long before he did. It can be argued that the mathematical significance of the early Pythagoreans, pre-450 BC, has been exaggerated, apart from their contribution to harmonics, and that they only later evolved into serious mathematicians as geometry became popular across Greece. All this raises a very simple question. Did he really exist? What do you think? Comment your opinion below. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.